Audio check, mic volume, testing one, two, three, three, two, one. Testing one, two, three, three, two, one. Thanks, G. few things on the stream uh, last night, the alerts anyway, even though I didn't get to half the things I wanted to, didn't get to any of the, any of the um, badges and stuff like that, but <clears throat> yeah, so slowly but surely. <laughs> to nerd or die and uh, got a package from them they've got some pretty cool stuff I just have a hard time figuring out how to integrate stuff that's all I still haven't even got the uh, wave music separator done I wanted to do that Also taking a look at um, uh, the Unify uh, Dream Machine booting issue, <clears throat> or not so much the booting, but why I can't access the uh, control panel anymore. So that's going to be an ongoing issue until I can find a solution to that. Played a little bit of vintage story. I still can't figure out why I'm getting that uh, font error from the to-do list. I just can't uh, understand that one.
Dream Elements is throwing some errors in OBS as well that have Hey, Chris, how are you doing? Yeah, G. I turned them all off and they went away. I turned off all the to-do list references in OBS and the errors went away, but now I'm getting errors thrown at me from stream elements. Chris. OBS browser shout out clip error. Error reference error. Oh, required is not defined. HTTPS JS deliver.net npm comfy JS slash distribution slash comfy min JavaScript one. I don't know what OBS's issue is. Shout out clip. Maybe because stream elements is not present. Let's see. Oh, stream elements bot is there. We're going to find out what's not working here in just, just, just a minute. <laughs> Shout out, clip. So, of course, it's Twitch Guru. Of course. All right, well, let's get to uh, uh, Looks like we need to make an adjustment anyway good enough well good morning to everyone it's a uh, Monday morning so we had a scheduled late start this morning an hour later than normal uh, due to some appointments tomorrow's stream is gonna be a late stream as well due to appointments good morning G welcome to the stream And um, yeah, so Twitch Guru is still throwing some uh, errors into OBS. I don't know what uh, what that's all about. We'll have to see what happens. Can only. Uh, can only address that as we go so yeah food and coffee got my coffee as well oh my goodness so needed today well let's try one um let's see what happens Twitch 
control. What? Are we ready? I've unlocked a, a new thing. Hey, Mr. Troll. Hi. Die. Hmm. Rest easy, my large friend. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, Mr. Troll. <laughs> it is a good one. <clears throat> that is a good one. Well, um, it still says error, error, reference, error. O R E Q is not defined, HTTPS. JSDeliver.net. I don't know if that's just an error with OBS itself. Um, the shout out showed in the stream, but it didn't show in OBS. So I wonder if it's just trying to display the shout out in OBS and erroring out because it didn't do it. But at the moment, that's the only error going on. We've we've eliminated all the other errors. Um, other than the just chatting overlay, refuse to connect to StreamElements.com CDN CGI slash RUM because it violates the following content security policy directive, which is connect SRC none. And then it says static cloudflare insights.com beacon dot min dot js and then the source code or the source that's interesting cloudflare insights cloudflare insights so cloudflare might be and i don't know what the beacon Beacon.min.js is all about. But that could just be Cloudflare updating their security policies. Because it violates the following content security policy directive. Connect source none. I don't know what that connect source none is. But if it's calling out name, uh, if it's calling out uh, Cloudflare, um, then I'm almost certain that's got to do with ongoing um, updates, security policy changes, implementation, and all that kind of stuff. So OBS is complaining about it, but I think it's, I don't think it affects anything because the clip or the just chatting overlay seems to be all there. Next source, none. Really? We're just chatting overlay. Well, um, the overlay seems to be working. And the streamelements.com overlay for just chatting actually has a different key than the one that Cloudflare is calling out, but that's okay. That might be completely unrelated or different. Um, Seems to be working. I mean, it's coming across the stream properly. Everything's in the right place. So, I don't know. Seems good to me. 
Anyway, um, yeah, so... I reckon we're gonna do a little bit of Dyson Sphere this moment, this morning, since, uh... So far, everything appears to be working just fine. So we won't question that too much. And of course, uh, Dyson Sphere is made with unity. Indeed. Let's see what kind of, let's see if we get an error with that. here it is kind of interesting that it is showing the game already and I haven't even activated the game <laughs> that's what it's supposed to be until I actively turn it on it just did it all by itself but there it is <laughs> I don't know I don't know it did it all by itself for some reason but that's exactly where we were going so so all good CPU and GPU are exactly where I anticipated they were going to be. FPS and UPS are exactly where we left it. We did a few changes on here last time uh, we vid visited the game. And that was in relation to... Yeah, so blue, red, and yellow are now full on. I mean... They were full on before, but that was the big issue is um, the new productions li production lines. So actually we started building up yellow like we had done blue and red. So we'll do the blue first. We've got our blue juice. <clears throat> 800 seems to be fine. So our final product is going to be yellow cubes. Uh, 
All right, we'll do 48. Seems to be a good number. And of course, we will want to uh, bring in titanium crystals and diamond. be going crazy that broke a little bit but that's all right we'll fix that For some reason that's only two. I guess that is about the same distance back as fire hammers. Just looked funny. It's about right. I guess I am as far back as didn't look like I zoomed back far enough before. But, yeah, it's only two ticks coming in. So I must be getting contaminated from another source coming in. All right, well, OBS stopped complaining, obviously, because we switched away from the just chatting. All good on this scene, anyway. I think we can deal with that. All right, the blue is not so critical, not so crucial at this point. Um, the blue juice. Those are definitely, uh, those are the return lines. <clears throat> Obviously we want to connect up the return lines. as well will be return lines so we've actually got doubled up yeah we got doubled up juice on that Erickson, how are you doing? We're doing good. For a Monday, so far so good.
so far. That's interesting. I've got double line return line on that side. Ah, right. We did this funky thing. I wonder if I'm going to have to do that with yellow as well. I didn't have to do that with blue. That is kind of funky. I don't know that I want to repeat that with uh, with the yellow. I mean, that's too much sp spaghettification. <laughs> Um, so today we're going to be uh, designing some more of the spheres, adding structures uh, obviously to that, expanding fa factories, uh, and general mayhem. <laughs> so um, we're doing a little bit of expanding the factories right now, so the lab factories that are producing our colors is what we're concentrating on. <clears throat> so the blue and the red, this new design for the blue and the red, actually seem to be working out pretty good. Um, we're reducing the, the bot interactivity quite a bit. So we're only going to work with four or five distribution bots per color. And so far, blue and red are keeping up fabulously. So we're just going to keep going down the line with with that. So these are the two, or rather four. So one requester there, one requester here for each color. Doubled up on both sides. So there's only four requesting bots distribution bots and then we're only going to provide four or five delivery bots per color so far four for blue has been done been just fine five for red has been just fine i reckon five will be enough so matched up one for one plus an extra so far Well, that could change depending on how we go. We'll see how it goes as we expand these out, so. Um, right, so in order to get our demands met, we will have to have Diamond and titanium crystal turned on as a local supply. Just as the others, well, we haven't gotten to those yet. Just as these others were. And they too are coming in tainted. So I'm going to have to check my sources. Chances are what has happened is one of the factory worlds in the factory system uh, has flopped on his face for the blue juice. So as long as we've got two ticks, it's still getting the proliferation. It's just using a little more spray than it would normally use if it had three ticks, that's all. So that's not critical. Uh, not critical right now, and I can go and fix on that later, so. Okay, now that we've got uh, those coming in. So 
go ahead and let them on through. We're still not getting blue. Why aren't we getting blue in here? I did do a demand. Oh, we do have blue. It's stopped. Because it's broke. Yeah, it looks like it broke when it pasted. Well, it's actually going the wrong direction. Oh, that's right. Going in the right direction. It's going in the right direction. Sorry. I don't know if you heard that. That should do it. Beautiful. Heard what? Oh, you can't hear that? You used to be able to. So caps lock on, I get a beep. Caps lock off, I get a beep. So I actually have beeps associated with my caps lock and num locks key. You didn't hear those though. Don't hurt it. Okay, cool. Yeah, before it was... Um... Oh, I know why I can't hear it. Because I helped circumvent that. Well, you probably didn't hear that either. That's cool. Good. So those are just in those are just in my earballs. So I'm the only one that will have confused earballs and in, in uh, eye drums. We don't need no extraneous sounds in the uh, in the chat, right? Okay, so let's connect up. This won't matter which one it is. It could be either or. And. Those will need an output. Whoops. To there, and then we'll swing on over to here. Yeah, you'll go from there to there, huh? But you won't do that. <laughs> oh boy, so, so. I mean, I know it's a clipping and everything, but it's the same two grid lines. How bad is that? Fun with belts, yeah? So it'll be just one one distributor bot at a time delivering. Until the other box fills up. So once this fills up and starts pushing over to the next box. And then it'll filter over to this box. And we want that to be storage. That should match if I... We're not doing drones. Could do drones, but I mean...
Yeah, we are doing drones because we need to uh, drone collect. <clears throat> <laughs> No, mister, I sure don't. And we don't do those either. Did when I was in high school, started to experiment. You know, everybody experiments when they're in high school because they get exposed to it, you know. Um, but I never did. I never, I, I actually, I mean, I experimented a little bit, but I never had this pressing need for the cool factor or for acceptance into the cool kids group or anything like that. I never had that compulsion. I mean, I don't care if anybody else does, it's none of my business. I never, um, you know, experimented with weed, never did that, experimented with purple micro dots, you know, that kind of stuff. Dropped some acid on blotters and stuff like that. Just as experimentation, and I never, never had the draw to it. Never tried coke. Oh, your ADHD meds give you speed? <laughs> I wonder if, uh, no, uh, uh, Peanuts, Peanuts medication does it. Peanuts medication is Concerta. I don't think there's any, um, I don't think there's any speed in there. I know there's no amphetamine, but, you know. There could be something equivalent to that. I don't know. I don't know the, the technical term for the Concerta and what the actual chemical name is. Could be, though. No, it wouldn't be. No, it wouldn't be. He he doesn't need it. He's like the Energizer battery uh, bunny on steroids. So, yeah. Adderall is used as speed uh, by college school students. That's why I need to sign uh, my life away every time I need to go out of mine. Right. Adderall. I remember that I remember that used to be a thing when I was in high school too and that was a long time ago I'm surprised that's still uh, uh, what's going on here <clears throat> that's a oopa oopa might as well fix the one on the other side I bet you they're all like that no this one made it just the output side And the feed lines made it all the way down. Yes, they did. So just the outsides didn't connect for some reason. Because that's a thing in this game. <clears throat> right, that all by itself, just those six machines, or 12 rather. <clears throat> Just those six machines uh, filled the request, but we also didn't uh, break down any of the old machines either. They're still running. So, we'll leave those running. So as long as they're producing yellow to feed the lines, as these start to shut down, then I'll deconstruct them. I just want to minimize the amount of uh, debris we're gonna be leaving laying on the ground. So, so far with the yellow, of course, we're not doing any research right now. All it's doing is um, replacing what was used for the white at the moment. Since white is, is catching up. And doing pretty good, too. I mean, it's got the line saturated, which is great. It's just uh, filling up what was used. And all the distributor boxes are being utilized, so... Yep, 
they're all flashing on and off, so they're all getting uh, products sent to them. All the lines are in operation. So what is going to happen eventually once we get the uh, once we get the colors sorted out? Um, that's going to allow us to expand the white production to the point that the bots will be 100% busy delivering to keep these lines saturated. And once we get all the inputs saturated, which will, you know, replenish the stock, then we're going to start duplicating that, expanding as we go. So from the bottom, from the bottom to the top, we want to make sure that, you know, blue, red, and yellow are fully producing properly to keep the final labs busy all the time. This one doesn't seem to be, oh, because it's not getting green right now. Green or antimatter. So those will be in the in the make once that's all fixed up this that'll saturate these lines just like the blue red and yellow did and we'll be golden then it will be simply a matter of laying down labs Now, are the factories keeping up? That's only by indication of how full the ILS is. So, so far factories are keeping up fine, except for processors. The rest of the factories have kept up just fine. So process or processors are the only ones isn't that always the case though, you know? It's always the processors. Processors. I forgot if we proliferate. Yeah, we did. No, we did. Yeah, we did. Proliferation on the output. That's that's good. Boy, those are bright. Hey. see the yellow arrows on them it's so bright that's all right okay so these guys are still all fully on right to the top Since we're taking up so many ports, I've got those three available, but actually got four available. Reckon what we'll do. Yeah, it's not going to hop over right there. Go up. Uh, 
go up to get us to here. Get that much done. for each section so we actually don't need to have more than right to the middle the middle is going to overlap right yes middle will overlap and we don't need to include those. Hold on, let's try that again. That's what we wanted, and we don't want to include those two. That's more better. Yay, all the belts connected. How about that? Boy, they are very finicky. That's another 12, so two, four, six. This would be our normal break in the line. Before we grab some, let's see. Yep. All right. Ah, we do indeed. saturated right off the bat.
about saturating now because it's full. That's fine. tell you what, there's one thing I really miss here in Australia. <laughs> Actually, there's two things that I really, really miss. Going to Waffle House every morning for, for coffee and breakfast. Because there is nothing like Waffle House's um, breakfast. I love it. You know? Steak and eggs with hash browns scattered, smothered, covered, and chunked. That was the only way to go. You could even have a little bit of sour cream topped on top. Because, you know, sour cream goes with potatoes. Wawa? You'd miss Wawa. What's Wawa? <laughs> water <laughs> Mr. OG how are you doing you don't like Waffle House cuz cuz why cuz why tell I want to know why people like it and don't like it no I mean it's well, Waffle House is a gre grease house. It's that's where all the flavors at in the grease. You've ne never had a good experience. Oh man! Well, you know what? That's always possible. Always possible because it depends on the staff. Um, you know, and management of the store. But every place, everyone I've went into is almost like a Herbie K's or a Starlight Diner. Um, you go in. Uh, and I think even uh, Steak and Shake did it as well. But, you know, you go in, the staff greet you. At Waffle House, you walk in the door and the staff, all the staff greets you coming in the door, whether they're cooking or serving or whatever. Hi, come on in, have a seat. We'll get your order in just a second. You know, and chill or whatever. Love that. That's a great PR, PR thing, but it's always fun. And then, you know, when the waitress takes your order, they holler it to the cook. They don't take it to the cook. They holler over there, you know, scattered, smothered, covered eggs over easy, steak, rare, medium, whatever. Um, throw in some goat juice, cream, no sugar, you know, or whatever. And then, of course, um, of course, the food, you know, foods. Um, Hang on, hang on, hang on. What is this? What is this? Mr. Jeeves deleting messages. What are we doing here, Mr. Jeeves? Mr. Jeeves is misbehaving. Yes, exactly. Oh, Alright, Dark. How are you doing? Two shingles and burn them. Indeed. Mr. G. We got to get a leash on Jeeves here. Jeeves is misbehaving. Um, uh, over Glock, to answer your question, what Waffle Houses do you go to? Um, I've been to almost 750 of the Waffle Houses. Ah, okay, Ori Dark, no worries. Safe journeys, safe flight. Are you piloting, co-piloting, or passenger? Are you letting somebody else do the dirty, or are you piloting it yourself? I've never been out to the Kansas City ones, OG. Most of because um, 
Oh, your flight simulator. Are you playing uh, X12 or MSF? Or X11, is it? Cracker Barrel and Bob Evans are awesome. Thank you, G. Yeah, so, um... Overclock, I've only... the When I was a fire and safety inspector, um... One of the, uh... Contracts we had with the uh, federal government, or the state government, or both, actually, uh, was to do the fire and safety inspections at the uh, Waffle House franchise. And because I was uh, in Atlanta... Um, central Georgia I covered uh, the north end in central Georgia and left uh, the south end Macon to uh, one of my co-workers um, who handled the south Georgia into uh, uh, Alabama uh, and Florida but um, one of the perks of getting to go to do those inspections is they always try and bribe you uh, into delivering a favorable fire and safety inspection report and they bribe you with the food um, and it's always a surprise video it's never an announced visit so um, yeah it's uh, it's like that so I've been to I've been to 750 waffle houses um, in Georgia, but I also had have gone on my off time as a personal visit to the ones in Florida, Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, um, you know, especially around Dothan, Alabama and Mobile. Out near Biloxi, Mississippi, of course, but um, I've always had great experiences with them. Um, I never really there was occasionally it depends on who the, uh, who the who the owner is of the franchise or the outlet that particular store it, it really depends but generally 95 percent of them and you know there's 1100 of them just in the southeast 1100 stores for waffle house probably more by now well you know i didn't even know there were some out in kansas city but apparently that's a thing <laughs> so I guess they are spreading west um, as the times change yeah you're probably you know you can get more and more tainted you know as we progress but it's all about it's all about attitude you know have a good attitude Oh, man. Well, maybe the parking lot was in the wrong place at the wrong time and the dead people just got, you know, fell onto it, you know. I don't know. <laughs> I hope it I hope it wasn't the um I hope it wasn't the employees shooting the uh customers or vice versa. Maybe that was just gangland grounds, I don't know. Yep, guilt by association. I can understand that. Oh, uh, well. All right, looks like we're up against our first break. Uh, bottom of the hour. Coming up in about 10 seconds, 10 to 15 seconds. So we will be back after um, the break.
Okay, we're back. Uh, gee, I'm going to test that real quick as soon as I find... As soon as I find to-do list... Oh, I'd have to re-add them because I deleted them all out of OBS. Hang on, let me uh, grab... Um... Yeah, so, um, you know, it's very possible, guys, that the uh, Waffle Houses were... Um, you know, it's possible a Waffle House was built and opened on drug money so you know if they're in a bad neighborhood or whatnot but No, I haven't, Chris. I, you know, I have not seen a whole lot of New England. Um, I was born in Michigan, lived in Indiana and Pennsylvania, um, but never got up that far. Which I kind of feel like I missed out because there's a lot of great stuff about New England and history and art, you know, culturally. And I think, um, isn't Maryland in New England? Baltimore City, Baltimore, Maryland, isn't that New England? Are you referring to something different? New England is is generally the northern northeastern most states. New England is a state now in the US. No, I didn't think so. <laughs> Curse. Too north to be south and too south to be north. Yeah, New Hampshire. Vermont, New Hampshire, Maryland. You know. You're right below the Mason-Dixon line. I thought the Mason-Dixon line was uh, the top border of um, uh, Tennessee, Virginia. <laughs> oh gee, <laughs> you're glitching. <laughs> Are you sure about that? I'm gonna have to. I gotta check that. I was pretty sure the Mason-Dixon line separated the north and south and not east and west. So Pennsylvania and Maryland. Okay, hang on. I'm getting over to Google. I gotta see this in... Oh my goodness. I was thinking Maryland was north of Pennsylvania and it is not. It is south of Pennsylvania. I knew Virginia was involved there. Ah, you know where I was thinking the Mason-Dixon line was. So, um... 
Virginia, the southern border of Virginia, the northern border of North Carolina, Tennessee, and the bottom northern Tennessee border and the southern Kentucky. I was thinking that was the Mason-Dixon line. I didn't realize it was further north above West Virginia. Maryland, I was thinking, was farther up near uh, New Hampshire and Delaware and all that. So I was uh, confused completely on that issue. The unofficial extension is just north of where I thought it was. Um, yep. Can't remember, but Maryland was added as a colony in honor of their either Mary Queen of Scots or the Mary from yeah, something like that. That's right. That's right, I remember that, Ori Dark, now. Yeah, so my geography was a bit screwed up there. As long as I'm there on Google real quick, gee, I'm gonna just grab the um, grab the oh, hang on, gotta log in again. Um, all right, DSP. And the key is probably under API key. So I just need the API key. It doesn't matter for which group, right? Right? It's not an API key for each individual list, or is it each individual list? API key plus category. Got it. Also reduce that quite a bit so and we'll shrink it down just a little bit now let's see if um if yep so right away I'm getting the errors G OSB browser to do list error uncaught error bootstraps JavaScript requires JS query max CDN dot bootstrap CDN dot com bootstrap slash 3.4.1 slash JS slash bootstrap dot min dot JS six 
So immediately I'm getting the uh, jQuery error, uncaught error. And I don't know how uh, maxcdn.bootstrap that's uh, bootstrapcdn.com gets pulled into that. Is that what you're using to deliver? through the API. Yep, I'm not getting the font size error anymore. This is just a to-do list, error, uncaught errors, bootstrap, JavaScript, jQuery. From maxcdn.bootstrapcdn.com slash bootstrap, blah, blah, blah. That's exactly where the uh, error is coming from as soon as I turn that on. Refresh cache where? Refresh browser cache. Okay, hold on. Uh, in the browser source. Um, do you want me to turn on refresh browser when scene becomes active or just do a refresh? Clicking on refresh. That might have did it. I cleared the uh, log just so I can see any new ones pop up. I reckon that did it because it's not popping up now. Not yet. I'll watch that for a minute to see what happens. Looks good though. Nope. Oh, no. Uh, okay, hold on. OBS browser, shout out clip, shout out clip. Error, error. Yeah, that's, twi all right, that, that one's a Twitch guru. That's his deal. Yeah, so just the shout out clip right now. It looks like the um, jQuery error is now gone. We'll see how long that stays gone for. Should be good. Should be good. Oh, heck, that's not even the updated to-do list. <laughs> I need to update it. We got a lot of those completed already. Oh, I know why, because... Um, so, gee, when I go into clearing something or completing something... Um, so I'll go to click on remove and I've got to scan down through a whole bunch of list items just to find the ones to remove. I can't sort them. Um... Actually, they're not listing any of the ones from DSP in the remove. Oh yeah, there's yeah, there's a couple. Make plastic. There they are. Yeah. Make plastic. We'll remove that. 
Um, make poles, we'll remove that. Um, make diamond from graphite, we're not doing that. Silicon ore from stone, we're not doing that. Not doing the titanium crystals. Make organics. I'm definitely not doing that. We don't make organics. We mine that. Pump water. We're not doing that. Um, start farmland, no, nope. move animal pen, no, nope. no, nope. that's a different category. Grass and grains, no, nope. that's a different category. Um, this, um, configure new Twitch alerts, we can do that because that's already done. Filter, I don't see a filter. There's objective, category, completed, and remove. The remove button. So when I click on remove, there is no, up at the top on the menu, dashboard, add, remove, update, complete. When you click on remove, there is no categories to. To filter. Okay, so anyway, that seems to be... We've gotten the ones out of there that we don't need to do. Um, Alright, so... Yellow seems to be still at it full on. Which is fine. You, Chris, you made organic... Well, yeah, you know what? I think we all pretty much had to do manufacturing of organics because it takes a while, I think, to find a... Um, find an ore vein because it's a rare. But generally speaking, all of your vegetated planets will have some sort of organic crystal on them. You can eventually mine it instead of manufacture it. I think I, I think the reason we had water and plastic on there Oh, yeah, well, so how am I supposed to read sarcasm into your chat, So You didn't put a sarcasm emote. <laughs> I don't have a crystal ball. My text my text doesn't show me emotions. Organic, oh my god, eight months ago. Well see, I didn't know exactly that uh, the little one was eight months old either, so there's the I couldn't make a couldn't make a mental connection there. Has it been eight months already? Holy moly! It is crazy fast. It seems like only a month or two ago. To me, anyway. There's, you know... In, in my mind, the Earth is burning up. We're moving along so fast. <laughs> it's literally disintegrating out from underneath me. <laughs> Probably seems like forever for you. You know, if you add in all of the sleepless nights and... <laughs> Alright, I think... 
It is definitely overstocked. How come that's not getting around to the second one? Is it broken also? There's none getting in there, so it must be broken. It certainly is broken right there. Yeah, I don't want to delete the export. No on, Icarus. Behave. Get off of there. Just go on in. There we go. Export is... Why is that a Clyde? Why can't I pick that up? Well, that's not annoying at all. Thank you. There it goes. Just last year that you're in high school, but my calendar says I'm 60. I know, right? <laughs> Sorry, Darkwind, what month is your birthday, just out of curiosity? So is mine. We're almost literally the same age. Mine's the 17th. Eight days before Christmas. Almost a Christmas baby. Oh, cool. My sister's June 11th. She just had her birthday. But, uh, yeah, you're a week older than me. How about that? <laughs> Crazy ass. Yeah. Yeah. Six days older than me. That's pretty cool. Alright, should we do one more yellow or leave it at 24? Red is a little more than 24. What have we got on red? I think we've got 36, but... Uh, 2, 4... 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 20. We've got 26 on red. 24 on yellow. I don't think yellow is in as high a demand as red is when we're doing in research. Oh, no kidding. Younger brother is on the 14th. How about that? Almost exactly two years later. Three days shy of it. Or three days, yeah, over two years. That's pretty cool. So, your younger brother will be um, celebrating his 62 squared birthday. So, in 2024, he will be born in 62 and turning 62. That's a cool birthday. How about that? See, my little sister uh, was June 11th um, I was in 60 in December of course and uh, my older brother was born in 58 in May yeah so um, your birthday your birthday 
year birthday is um, your age that matches the year that you were born. So his 62nd birthday, when he turns 62, will match the year he was born, and that's in, to, in December 2024. So that's going to be an extra special birthday, in my mind anyway. My brother had his uh, quite a few years back now, when he turned 58. He was born in 58. So about... Uh, Six or so years ago, I'm not doing the math in my head real good right now. Alright, now this yellow has settled down because it's saturated, so everything is on the old row. So I'll go ahead and do. We'll go ahead and do. Um, the new one that we just did. Did I not blueprint that? I think I did, but I left it probably in here. I didn't blueprint it. Really? Yes, I did. Where did I put that? For sure I put that I know I had to have blueprinted it because when I put down the yellow it was blank and empty And when I did the red, it was based on the blue, and it was blank and empty. Sure, I blueprinted that. Where did I put that? sciences that I had done. Um, I guess I did not blueprint that because I don't see it anywhere. That's not it. No. I lost it. I didn't keep it. Oh, got it. It sucks on a couple of levels. No worries, G. Okay, Ori Dark, don't crash your, uh, don't crash your king. should be an autopilot though even even for your descent you should be on autopilot till you've uh, hit your approach leg are you flying manually the whole way thank you auto save Let's go ahead and do an official one
Okay. Well. Well, you don't necessarily have to auto descent. You just, uh, you know, tune your um, your altitude uh, setting. Right? Ah, okay. Well, there you go. Do you, um, just out of curiosity, Ori Dark, do you uh, watch or follow uh, Sim Caesar or um, Continuum? Or do you uh, subscribe to uh, the Jump Seat on Twitch? And 757? Yep, excellent, excellent. He was on just last night. He had a pretty good stream. I pop in and watch all those guys quite a bit. Um, and on last night, Airliners Live does their live uh, plane spotting. Um, Yeah, good group, good group, good community, good community. Okay, so I guess um, purple is going to. Sorry, I'm really disappointed because if I copy that, you know. Um, I don't want to copy the PLS because I'm going to end up with all the settings from the PLS. And we only did six of these at a time anyway. I just don't want to do that. I have to stop and change all those settings. Ooh, look at this. Wow. Not only that, blue is restricted to the blue region because I copied the belts that are on the line, so we'll just take the red. I'm not on top of any, uh... Yep, it sure is. Why is that? That's not on a tropic. Oh, the outside belt. Again. Fine. Yellow it is. about there looks good we'll back it up one more that should be good
Yeah, I watch that airliners live. I watch their Wednesday show and I watch their um, Sunday night for sure because for me that's an that's actually a great way to wind down my Sunday um, is to catch airliners live and um, you know if it wasn't for Matt and uh, the guys that were that are so good um, being very chill. Um, I probably wouldn't watch, but it's such a great chill stream. So I guess we'll just throw down a brand new one and reconfigure it like we did. I'm going to leave myself a little extra room on this one. In actuality, just for giggles and grin, I'm going to use the uh, last port on the back and run this one to the middle instead of front like I did with the other ones. And this one, of course, we will run to the middle as well. And we'll bring the blue out here. be a demand um, and we're doing purple so processors of course and broadband and I'm definitely gonna have to address that processor issue make them purple Much rather copy the red. We're just going to copy one though and go from there. Oh, I actually can't use the middle on that one. All right, let's do uh, because of the distribution bots. go ahead and go in from there let's snug up against them are we we're right up against the port so first line out first grid line out Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do that because... Boom. Ha! Ah, got a little clipping out of that, but... Not bad. That one will be our purple. That's going to be an issue. I certainly didn't leave a lot of room for two more bots. We'll 
try it anyway, see what happens. Just barely enough. So once that first one is cleared, then we'll get our fourth and fifth one in, which is fine. And... That belt's actually going to be the wrong direction because this one is going to be our out. And our in. And then out. To the in. We'll continue this one over is probably not gonna yeah it will well it's not gonna that's it that's fine That's fine, it goes. It goes burr. Right, and we have to turn those on. Actually, I don't have to go anywhere to turn them on. Definitely gonna have to go check out Processors. Processors in blue. top please thank you very much okay right, before we put the second set of those down and clearing out the uh, other yellows the yellows are still hard at work all the way to top yes yes all right we're gonna have to go factory two factory worlds in our factory system and Not researching anything yet. We are now. Um, assuming, Chris, that People have their research on all the time. I'm building up toward that, though. So, even though I'm in my infinites, there is nothing that I need to be researching all the time. I'm in my infinites, so everything is selective as to when and where I need to do it. So, there isn't, um, 
I'm on my infinites for everything. There is nothing that's actually required at this point. These are all the requirements up to uh, infinites. I'm not actually sure how far uh, mecha core goes, but I don't think that's infinite. Um, we know these are infinites by their symbols. I don't need that. I don't need that. Drive engine. Construction drone flight speed. Yeah, probably. I mean, it's fast enough right now. I don't need them to be a blink of an eye. There's no need for that. No reason for that. But, you know, some of these I will. You know, like the ray, ray transmission uh, efficiency. It's pretty darn low right now. We're at uh, 0.1, I believe. 0.107. Which I could start reducing that. <clears throat> um, logistics carrier speed. I would like my vessel's navigate speed to be a little faster than 0.63 light years per second. Since my uh, Icarus can go one light year per second, I wouldn't mind vessels being one light year per second. Um, research speed, definitely upgrade that. You know, veins utilization. I mean, I'm at level 45. What is my veins consumption or waste? 6.5 second. Yeah, if I were if I were struggling to race toward 0.1 or or less, I might upgrade that some more. But right now, right now, miners, miners come out on a belt, which is 30 per second. So I really don't need to mine faster. My um, industrial miners are already hitting anywhere between 12 and 18,000 per minute when they mine. So they've got the uh, stack of four coming out the port, which is actually pretty decent. But again, <clears throat> that's 120 per second times nine ports. Um, fills up an ILS and PLS pretty damn quick, you know. I don't know why I would need quicker and quicker and quicker and quicker unless there was a specific reason to have it be quicker. And you know what? There probably will be once I start covering an entire planet of just manufacturing green chips or an entire planet just manufacturing processors or an entire planet just manufacturing microcrystalline components. Um, then yeah, probably ore consumption would be an, I mean, ore production would be an issue. Um, that would probably be more about smelting anyway. And I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe one day I'll actually start using the, uh, plane smelters, but right now I only use the arc smelters. But, you know, what's the, um, a lot of people race. Playing this game, they're racing for something. I don't know what they're racing for. Factory. I spent my, I made my investment. I spent my money to, in, to invest in a game that I could enjoy for a long time. And so far, DSP has been doing it. <clears throat> um, and providing me with a little, um, um, a lot of return for my investment. But yeah, I see a, a lot. I see a lot of people that play the game. They are racing. They're racing toward white science. They're racing toward rocket launches. They're racing toward this and that and the other thing. Um, I seriously got no need to race to do anything. I 
I just build them to work efficiently. And if they're working efficiently, I'm happy. And I'm actually not even aiming for spot on um, ratios of efficiency. I'm just making sure I got more than enough on the inputs of something. And I'll let the outputs handle themselves. Let's see where's processors at. Processors are probably lacking because of green. Something green. I spy something green right there. There's processors. Nothing clogged, so that's just a matter of... Yeah, that's just a matter of we really, really need to expand this. <laughs> So, our supply chain is not stressed. So we got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. We've got twenty, it probably should be forty. Probably be 40. So, power poles are every other one, it looks like. So, we'll do that. Minus those. Looks like it gets everything. Yes. That's 20 more of those. I knew I would be out of boxes. Where's my boxes at? There they are. Those power poles are not actually reaching to the top. Why is that? Do I have alternative? Oh, I know why. Yeah, because of these bad boys. No, it didn't reach. That one right there. Yep, got him. Missing some inserters. Still missing. How many boxes we could have? Three, six, seven, every seventh one. Three, six, seven, yeah, so it's just outside that range. That got him. Okay, so. That should help a little bit with the, uh... Yeah, that's a lot faster. Eric Sands! Speed in this game isn't about uh, clickety click, clicky quickly. Yeah, if you try to get fast in this game, you'll go slower. Exactly. Speed comes from efficient, flexible builds. Indeed, you nailed that one. When I finish a game in nine hours, it doesn't mean I clicked quick. It means my strategy and blueprints are efficient, flexible. That is spot on. Yeah. Spot on. My going back is usually adding on expanding factories to handle um, 
insufficient inputs to something else. So... I don't mind if I have factory lines that are idle. That means that they're constantly... Oh, look at here. That's, that's a little bit of an issue. Um, I don't mind if they're idle. As long as they're keeping the inputs of another process sufficiently overstocked. That's too much. I don't need all that. Oh, right. All right. And the timer has timed. And uh, we're about uh, 15 seconds away from an ad break. And then we will back, be back after the ad break. To pick up where we left off. There we go. All right, we'll see you in three minutes.
Okie dokie. <clears throat> um, right, so... Um, Erickson, efficiency as far as the layouts, you know, factory designs and, and stuff, I am full on about that. Um, and I really need to do cleanups and checks on things like my blue juice production, which needs a better, it's got a good design. I haven't um, eliminated the old ones and fixed up the new well the new the new design doesn't need fixing I haven't fixed up the old ones to look to be like the new ones yeah the prune juice production that's exactly right <laughs> Oy vey. I, I feel sorry for people that have to uh, <laughs> take blue juice or blue juice Prune juice. That stuff is nasty. So, um, this jam up that we've got on the microcrystalline components, this is going to change because, um, I'm happy with box line in a lot of situations, but something that's a um, high production rate item, I'm happier with a belt coming out or with a bot line going in. The box line satisfies the output because I can't get a four stack on the outputs of any of these machines, obviously. So the box line helps in that regard. I could also, if I wanted to, um, just take the box line off of the output sides of all the factories and just change those into distributor bots as well, which would also be pretty efficient. Um, it would probably kill my UPS, probably kill it dead. <laughs> until any, until the, until the, time when I can upgrade my uh, socket from an AM4 to an AM5 socket on the motherboard, uh, which would generally be just uh, buying a new motherboard with an AM5 socket. Um, I'm kind of restricted to uh, CPUs that'll go into an AM4 socket. And that, of course, means uh, not a lot, you know, six cores. You know, 12 threads. Speaking of which... Um, logical thread count. It won't do me any good to increase those. The only reason I brought it down to six is to allow for six dedicated ones on the CPU. Six dedicated threads. Yeah, in the beginning, uh, my AM4 socket motherboard was actually just fine for this game, but the game has, has progressed, um, even with the optimizations that the dev teams at UCAT have been doing. Um, it's um, it's a game that just requires more motherboard than I than I put together, you know, that I built for this this machine this system. And the only reason I went with the AM4 socket and Ryzen 5 processors was because my goal, my aim was to build a playable system, a useful system under $1,500 that would last me three to five years. And so far it's done exactly that. I built it in 2019. All right, doesn't see anything else jammed up. These guys will probably be a while catching up. Yeah, 
here. If the factory here Yes, Rob. Welcome back, by the way. And yes, indeed, I agree with you 100%. Um, back in 2019, when, when I was looking at the AM4 motherboards, um, there was nothing, nothing not severely negative about them at all when I was hunting for um, pieces, parts to build the system. And AM4 was were shining pretty well at the time. And I honestly haven't had any any serious drawbacks um, from that other than the fact that when I design systems, of course, I take a look at the compatibility um, of the, uh, the socket lanes with the GPU that I install. Um, so the GPU I, I hunted down it had to match or uh, be completely compatible with AM4 socket and CPUs as well as the um, memory channels. So when I went hunting memory and I prefer crucial band uh, brand memory, um, I also made sure that those were uh, technically matched uh, to the capabilities of the, uh, the cores of the CPU and the lanes available lanes or channels a lot of people call them lanes some people call them channels available but um, yeah I did a lot of research uh, matching up um, when I configured this system so uh, I'm team red I prefer AMD and MSI and Asus make good AMD branded uh, motherboards um, so it's it's a really solid. I mean, honestly, I, um, qualified vendors list. Yeah, generally speaking, that's right. Um, I a lot of people don't realize that I am both gaming and broadcasting from the same PC. So about twenty UPS in this game. 20 of that UPS is drained by the um, OBS itself. Actually, I'll say about 15 to 20. So that'll that actually takes me right back up to 60 UPS. You know, so I'm I am basically running everything off of the same machine except for my up deck. Uh, up deck is my uh, stream controlling software, you know, my buttons deck. Which I run on my uh, cheapy old Galaxy Tab 2. Which, um, if nobody's seen uh, my up deck, That's my update. So, tab two, quite old, but um, you know, go through all the different pages that I have. You know, um, completely free up deck is completely 100% free you don't buy any subscriptions you don't buy any um, anything for it so you don't have to have a, a stream deck um, and pay hundreds of dollars to do exactly what this does but this does for free by the way for streamers uh, there you go Jeeves got it thanks very much G Thank you very much. Hmm. 
Yeah, so, um... Oh, yes, lunch. Oh my gosh, no wonder. You know, I got hungry talking about Waffle House, and I was already hungry to begin with. <laughs> I am doing the exact wrong thing anybody should be doing, let alone a streamer, and that is um, snacking on little bits of um, stuff I shouldn't be, like donut. <laughs> yeah, I need to do it. I need. I need to figure out how to incorporate a um, a lunch into my streams because I stream while Peanut is at school, and I have to I have to I have to work in an actual lunch, even if it's just a fifteen minutes. Yeah, not today. <laughs> Not today. Um, procrastination fully in force right now. Is today a public holiday? No. Peanuts at school. What public holiday? Hang on. Oh, is today the Queen... Which state is it the Queen's birthday in? Right, okay, there you go. Which is now the king's birthday. <laughs> oh my god. I so love how the queen's birthday falls on about seven different days in Australia. Which is now being transitioned into seven different days. King's birthdays. Not that, it's the, not that it's their real birthday. <laughs> but, you know, um, the Queen's birthday will now be the King's birthday on seven different days, regardless of when his actual birthday is. A Z490 motherboard. I've got the, uh, I've got the B550. With an Intel, yep, 32 megs, M2 drivers, yep, uh, GTX 3090, yep, NVIDIA. So NVIDIA and Intel work very well together. AMD works pretty good um, on Intel motherboards. And um, some of the AMD Ryzen chips work with the NVIDIA GPUs, some not. And there's always a little bit of a compatibility issue there, which is why I matched it up, AMD straight up. If I was into, if I was using an Intel board or, or CPU, I would be using NVIDIA. Did the remove page update for you? Um, no. I don't believe so. Hang on. I'll have to, uh... Oh, yes it did. There we go. Now we got categories. Yay! Sweetness. Sweetness. Good job, G. Very well done. And same with the completed page. Categories. Excellent. Yeah. I can select DSP and it filters out just the three that I currently have right now. Spot on. Good on ya. Yeah, Ori Darkwind, um, that's right. I, uh, I don't have anything against Intel. Um, I haven't been... If I was Team Green, which is NVIDIA, 
um, I would definitely be on board with Intel all the way. Um, but I've been Team Red for a while. Um, and I'm not exactly sure what made me switch years and years and years ago. It probably was a price issue. It might have been the fact that AMD has already uh, broken into... Well, AMD broke into the 7 nanometer um, speeds on their GPUs way before um, NVIDIA did. NVIDIA, I think, is still, still on 14 nanometers. And AMD has already broken into the 6 nanometer range. So AMD uh, leads in uh, NVIDIA. Uh, in GPU processing and has for quite some time. I think that's kind of why I stayed with AMD. But price, and see that's another thing, so pricing. So NVIDIA generally is more expensive than AMD, plus they're still stuck in 14 nanometer um, processing range, processing speed. So AMD is able to get um, anywhere between 13 to 18 billion transistors on a uh, 6 nanometer. So, is NVIDIA on the 5 nanometer already? Well, that is great news. That is great. And they've probably been there for a while because I don't keep up with NVIDIA. <laughs> Well, um, yeah, it's interesting, Ori Dark. That's interesting. I know there's a lot of development in not the chat AI, but the um, in uh, other uh, AI realms. Um, I didn't realize the GPU was going to be so involved in the AI development. I always thought it was going to be CPU related. So AI is ran on the GPU, okay. Is that because, uh, is, is that strictly based on the fact that there's CUDA cores available for doing that? All right, where is silicon coming? Yeah, I figured that's what it was going to be, the CUDA core tech, yeah. That makes complete sense. Not that I'm a person that uh, has a lot of sense. <laughs> but technology-wise, that makes a, a whole bunch of sense, you know. There's silicon, there's some of the problem right there. Oh, and 60 is not enough. Let's pop that up to 90 for sure. There we go. Get that out of the red. Maybe 120. Does vessels and drones. Just recently started playing with uh, some of the AIs out there. It's yes, indeed. I play with the chat uh, GPT AI quite a bit um, just to have fun with that. But, um, you know, there's... I um, uh, can't even think of the names at the moment for um, pictures uh, putting together um, AI, AI uh, produced artwork which is day uh day no it's uh wally wally something like that and dave something like that
Info Reaper, welcome to the chat. Welcome to the stream. Good to have you. I do. Info Reaper, I do use um, Team Red, full AMD. Dally, that's it, Ori Dark Dally, not Wally. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm stuck with Pixel Labs. <laughs> Peanut watches, he's got every single, I mean, not Pix, Pixel, Pixar. Um, Peanut's got every single Pixar movie there is, the, the full length as well as the shorts, everything. Um, that's what the issue is. I think we're going to go to 180 here because it is sending vessels out to go get the silicon that I know is available. Yeah, car. He's. We've got all the cars. Uh, we've got cars all the way up through the planes, um, planes and uh, cars and planes. Was it planes and something? I can't remember. Um, originally, I was Team Green because um, as I started getting into well, I won't say getting into. I've been building computers. Um, since since 286 family um, but I've always been NVIDIA starting out and slowly they kept getting more and more and more expensive at some point I switched because of price and technology AMD was leading leading the um, charge with their uh, GPU processors speeds uh, getting faster and better than uh, NVIDIA's. Um, of course, you know, that's a back and forth thing all the time now. But um, generally speaking, price wise, I've almost always been better off with AMD, so I've just become Team Red. Not that I, not that there's anything wrong with in Intel, but like I was saying earlier, um, if I was going to go with uh, Intel CPUs and motherboards built for them, I would definitely match those up with NVIDIA's and not AMD's. So I, I group them as uh, Intel NVIDIA's and AMD slash AMD. Yeah, they, did, they were doing it cheaper too, you know. And that's been... That's always been one of my considerations is the economics, the finances. So I've never been in a position to build bleeding edge anything. Um, I just build the mid-range machines that are good for, um, you know, three to five years. And they're within my budget and, you know, the budget of the people that I build for that are not looking for bleeding edge. They just want a rock solid machine that lasts them, you know, half a decade. I used to build them based on the lifespan of a hard drive, which is generally uh, 10 years for your mechanical hard drives. Used to be back then. Now their lifespan has greatly increased, but it's still a mechanical part versus the, the SSDs. So I would, Back in the early days, I was building machines that would last 10 years, which was about the lifespan of a hard drive. Now, our technology is moving along so fast um, that building one that lasts five years is going to be outdated fairly quickly, but people are still going to get something out of their investment. That's exactly right, uh, Rob. Most of the stuff that gets onto the store shelves anyway is outdated in six months to a year. So, you know, most people would much rather spend a little less money on something they know they're gonna either throw away or have to upgrade uh, a few years down the road. Indeed, 
Ori, indeed. Yeah, and Microsoft Flight Simulator has uh, hugely developed in the last, you know, five years. Incredible, incredible software. I mean, nothing wrong with X11 or X12 or uh, DC. Um, can't think. I had a couple of brain cells just left and went for lunch. Uh, DC something. Um, but yeah, Microsoft is really outstanding right now. It's really good. But requires all of that processor, you know, and all of the GPU that it can get. Um, might have to revisit our mining planet. I think I'm going to have to revisit our mining planet. Silicon is not up to speed. Let's go shopping. Indeed. <laughs> You know what, before we do, that's the only tower collecting. Okay, so DSP is notorious for priority system based on age. The logistics priority system is based on age of the ILSs, PLSs, and distributor bot bots. Um, so let's do a little experiment. Where's that empty one that I had? I think I've got an empty PLS over here somewhere. Empty, yep, empty slots there, empty slots here. So let's do this. That's got 10. Look at that. There is silicon available. Because there they go, going to get it right now. So, even though there's silicon available, this PLS down here is only pulling from a specific, where is it? That one right here is only pulling from a specific source and ignoring the fact that there are other PLSs holding silicon. And that is evidenced by the fact that um, this one started piling up right away. So we'll put some uh, drones in there. So they, those vessels, all 10 of them, took off to go get the silicon that's waiting to be delivered somewhere, to anywhere. Whereas this one has eight vessels sitting here doing nothing when it could be off also going and collecting up from other ILSs. And that's and it's strictly based on age of the PLS or the ILS. Yeah, the priority says, you know, Youth Cat has been super, super tight lipped about how the priority system works, which is really, oh, it's been the dane of this game um, for the longest time for players, because if we can't get our brains wrapped around how the priority system works, we can't make it work for us. And Youth Cat has been very tight-lipped about that. And only recently, um, one of the longtime members over in the Discord, I can't remember his name off the top of my head, uh, has finally um, gotten the scoop. Not that it's super, super helpful, but the priority system in the game for ILS, PLS, and distributors is based on age. 
So with ILS, you can tell basically how old or how new it is. The higher the number, the newer it is. The lower the number, the older it is. Um, you can do that with PLS as well. But you can't do that with the distributor bots because there's no ID that we can see. Like they've put an ID in here for um, the PLSs and ILSs. They didn't do that for distributor bots. They could have. It's still got an internal game ID. Uh, so prioritized by age, oldest first, unfortunately. So my PLSs, or my ILSs, the oldest ones with silicon in them are prioritized first. The only problem is this one particular um, ILS right here is only going to get silicon from the, the oldest ILSs that are delivering. The newest ones that I put down with new smelters feeding it um, is the ones that this ILS pulled from. Right here. So newer newer ILS ID pulling from newer newer ILSs. Yes, so um, so if you limit your warper range, you can control that somewhat. So You can, you can basically chain them if you limit your warper range to only go six, and then you go six from the next one, and then six from the next one. You can get those to chain together, but boy, that's a hassle. Um, partially true, Ori. Partially true. Um, I have, I have lowered mine to 10%, which does, you know, get the vessels going out to get them, um, quicker. Not just because the load capacity is only 2,000 for vessels, but it triggers them to, uh, pick up from different ILS's that way. I don't, I'm not exactly sure how or why it does that, so I lowered them all to 10%. I don't mind that there's more going out because they're going to get more than 10% for the most part. Um, but yeah, that and, um, you know, your warp distance, you can kind of force it to work to your advantage. Instead of 10k, uh, lower them to 1k. Yep, could do that as well. But then I wouldn't have vessels going out to get resources right away. So when you're talking about lowering the resources, to, in this case 20k for mine, um, epic party guy. Raiders detected. Welcome and enjoy your stay. Welcome to the stream, Epic and Raiders. How are you doing? Hope your stream was well. And I'm not sure why Stream Elements no longer tells us what you were playing. It used to. I think that's a Twitch guru thing. How are you doing today, Epic?
Yeah, Jeeves didn't tell us what you were playing, and neither did um, Twitch Guru, Stream Elements. Building out purple science. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Isn't it great? Isn't it fun? <laughs> That looked like I had two alerts there for some reason. I have, to, I have to tweak that some more. I worked on my alert system this weekend. Got most of it going. I don't even know if you guys heard the alerts. I hadn't tested it live yet. This is the first time I've gone live since I was uh, screwing with my alert system. Oh, cool. Um. Hope nobody lost an eardrum. I used all the default sound settings. Excellent. Okay. It was rather quick. I didn't even get to look at my audio mixer to see what the sound level was, but I used all the default settings in it, so... If somebody lost an eardrum, I apologize. Uh, if not, then we're all good. <laughs> Yeah, so um, the priority system has just been, you know, learning how it's being implemented and being able to use that um, has just been really, really difficult. It could be better. I'm not sure why Epic, I mean, why YouthCat has not been um, more forthcoming with how that works, putting the information in a wiki, or having one of the community managers put it into a wiki um, with full explanations, you know. Um, would be good to have something like that. I uh, just want to see if our silicon is making it now down to our... Nope. There's plenty there now, but it choked up before we got there, so... We'll fix that again. I'm just about done with... Um, done with box line on this particular factory so And thankfully, the one, the one uh, recipe item is the lower is the lower recipe because even though these two get jammed up and the and the rest of the line suffocates, um, it doesn't bleed down or contaminate downward. It only contaminates upward. So, thankfully, it's the bottom recipe. But uh, yeah, it could be uh, could be worse. It's just um, all of the box line method. I'll, gi I'll give you a heads up right now. The box line method was in place before this technology showed up, which was the output cargo stack count. Now that these are up, now that we have this, and I've defaulted to the max, which is four stacks coming out. That has actually replaced the need for the input side box line. Now, the speed that you get from box line is effective for anywhere where you're limited to a 30 per second belt, they can exceed the 30 per second belt. Which obviously you can't get stacked belts on the output, only on the input. And, there would be no sense in using a stacker on the output because it doesn't speed up the line at all. All it does is max out how many are on the line that go out. When you get upwards of a thousand uh, 
LS's, even a 10 level priority system would become overload. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there are plenty of people that play this game that have definitely tested the maximum capabilities of the game. Uh, even early on, there was uh, there were people in Discord that were showing uh, time-lapse uh, videos six months after the game came out of um, you know one one two and three terawatt Dysons being built and these it just a bloom of rockets that would go and build these Dysons and there were some extremely impressive videos um, on how that you know was put together how it was done and that was before optimizations were getting in place, you know. Um, but people had some pretty extreme machines to be able to do that with as well. And you can, you can, there are people that have been pushing the boundaries of this game for a long time and continuously do that. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I'm gonna mark this because we have to go here, but I also wanna check on our blue juice. Not the prune juice, Chris. And I don't believe we're making a... Uh... Yes, we are, right over here. Okay, so what's going on? No problems on this planet. And it is all, all three ticks on this going in. This is completely backwards. This is completely backwards. When I built this, I can I made the ratios backwards. So one times yellow makes you would need two times green and then three times blue. So blue should be the largest, yellow should be the smallest. It's completely backwards. <laughs> um I lost a year, yeah. Lost a year playing right after this game came out. I had to have a double bypass. Oh my goodness, six months into the release of this game. Yes, indeed. So, well, doesn't take much to get caught up. Sorry to hear you had to have that surgery. Um, but yeah, a uh, lot happens in a year's, in, in, well, with these guys, a lot has happened in a year. Um, God bless you, Cat Studios. They are such an incredibly dedicated team. Um, they stick to their roadmap. Um, they listen to the community and get the patches and updates out. You know, that kind of stuff. It's just, um, they are just in, you know, a five member team. You know, it's incredible. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of in the same boat with you, Ori. Um, I've in, inherited uh, all, all through genes the uh, um, the diabetes, the uh, heart disease, um, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> um, I'm actually living with the right bundle branch block, and I have been for for two decades. Um, if nobody's familiar with a right bundle branch block or what it is, your heart has three groups of nerves that control heartbeat and how the uh, heart works. Interestingly enough, uh, the left bundle branch uh, handles um, the uh, ventricle and I um, can't remember the different, the four quadrants of the heart, handles uh, two of them on one side. <clears throat> And the right bundle branch, there are actually two in every human body, two right bundle branches of nerves that control the other two uh, chambers of the heart on the other side. So like men having an extra rib uh, on one side, we also have, of course, all people have three bundle branches, one left and two rights. Well, one of my right bundle branches is dead, doesn't do anything. So there's only one branch, a bundle branch of nerves that handle my heart's operation, half of my heart's operation on that side. So 
if I have, if the second one goes or if the left one goes, I'm done. You'll, you'll just see DSP running and nothing happening. That means that there's a corpse in this gaming chair here. <laughs> Yes, the rhythm. That's right. The way they the way they switch back and forth um, in chorus, uh, controlling a regular heartbeat. So keep hitting the wrong button. Anyway, um, this configuration is wrong. It's exact opposite. So the blue should be three times as long as the yellow. However, um, it's producing enough to keep the blue stocked up. So we don't have the problem here. And we've even got another setup here. This one is suffering. Oh, you know what? This is the one that's not proliferated. Ah, there's our, there's our source of contamination. Dun, dun, dun. How about them apples? No, oh, the other way, other way, rocket. There you go, now you're getting there. Oh, wrong one. There it is. Okay, so. What didn't I do? I didn't proliferate the outputs of... How about that? Not to mention... This is supposed to be... Oh, well, you know what? There's a... Uh... It's actually pretty slow. This was the new design. Uh... None of the blue is suffering. Oh, it's just the speed that it's getting over here. It can't go any faster than that because it's being delivered on single stacked belts. So four stacked going out here, but only a single stack from yellow to green and from green to blue. That's why, but this is, this is the correct ratio. So it's um, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13 to 17 to 20. That's the correct ratio. However, right, so we've got, oh, thanks, autosave. So the uh, proliferation going out. Also needs to proliferate. The out. So let's do, let's just break this since it doesn't, it's not hugely critical at the moment to have a momentary. Oh, that's the wrong version, Rocket. Please. We want that version. Actually, oh yeah, we gotta have, gotta have that version. All right. Upsies. Then we'll take this one. more better. Okay. 
Well, that fixes our contamination issue. Mo beta, indeed, indeed. All right, so. We've identified that problem, and that probably exists over on the other planet as well, so... We'll pop on over there. Oh, I like that, Chris. That's a good one. Moa! You know what that reminds me of? That's kind of like a natural progression from Mopa. Is that Ilts, Emo? How about that? Yeah, so uh, Mopa was the big thing back, and I've, I've been a huge Dodge fan for a long time. However, um, and many people may not remember, um, the big three automakers in the U.S. went through that um, too-big-to-fail garbage that was going on, and... GM and Chrysler both took huge handouts from the government from our taxpayer dollars because they were quote unquote too big to fail. And I was never a Ford fan until that very conspiracy moment, or not conspiracy, that very um, moment when Ford stepped up uh, in Congress next to GM and Chrysler and said, no, thank you. We're not going to take a handout. We'll get through it on our own. Bam. I was instant fan of Ford from then on. The other two wusses uh, took our taxpayer dollars and uh, lined their pockets with it. So, um, I'm a, a Mopar and a Ford fan. Alright, first I want to take a look at where our silicon is going into the production line here. And there's some yellow right there. Yellow juice. Um, yeah, I can't believe how, far ago, how long ago that was already. That's how fast time is going for me. Microchips look okay. Yeah, it almost did cost that. It takes... That took balls, though. That took really um, putting your head down and taking the challenge and taking the responsibility and doing something about it without taking a handout. Yeah, that was not going to be easy. Um... Yep. Yep, indeed. And you know what? I should have bought shares back then. <laughs> I, I, I should have got greedy with you. I really should have. Alright, this seems to be a little bit of an issue here. We don't want... But it also looks like our green silicon has... Uh, this is also going to be an ILS demand. Almost guaranteed. Guaranteed to be an ILS demand issue. I'm actually going to need the rest of these. Alright, so stacks of 100... That's a lot of boxes. That's a lot of boxes. Take 4,000. Or actually, actually, would take uh, 1,600. Yeah, that fills it up pretty quick. Uh, yeah. Oop. Well, you know, uh, yeah, it's 
it's been a long time in coming how how do you determine when it's i mean they haven't fully gotten back up to it but we've had a lot of things like pandemic and and stuff going on how long do we give them you know um they're it's it's still recovery they're still recovering so you know um they're not going bankrupt you know that's the thing and they did it without a handout so respect that's right that's right i agree 100 percent you know i can i can remember back in the day before all that was happening um, I was not a huge uh, fan of Ford because their transmissions were laying on the roadsides all the time. Um, oh. Alrighty then. Um, that cut short and the ads are already started, and, uh, even though you can't hear me, but we will be right back. <laughs>
Okay, we're back. Um, sorry about that. The uh, alarm went off only a few seconds before we went into ads. <laughs> um, anyway, so just killed two birds with one stone. So did the bio break and caffeinated and all that and answered the door. And this nice lady next door, not the one with the dogs, the one on the opposite side. Um, ah, thanks, Ori. Yes, indeed. Uh, anybody that's uh, subscribed does not see ads, but we take the bio break anyway, so nobody misses anything. <laughs> um, the nice lady next door, she's like 197 years old. Um, you know, her, her skin struggles on a daily basis to cling to her bones um, because everything else on her has given up. And she brings over a nice big bowl of cookies, you know, home-baked cookies. Uh, and she's going to contribute to my early death for sure uh, because I can never refuse them. Um, I can never resist eating them. Um, Peanut is lucky to get any. By the time he gets home from school, um, I do put three or four aside for him, though. Um, God love her. Um, I'm going to miss her, but yeah, she's... Uh, uh, she's she's like a walking skeleton. Her bones come over here with the cookies, and I'm thoroughly grateful for that. <laughs> oh, Ori, you should try uh, some of those. What are they? Depends. The uh, adult underwear. <laughs> I I don't think it can hang on, Ori. I don't think cause, you know nothing. You know the fat and the and the muscle tissue has given up on her. It's just the skin's the last, you know, major human organ clinging to existence on her. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so, um, she brings me cookies and I go ahead and, uh, when I'm, when I got peanut cut in the grass, I'll grab the mower from him when he's done with our yard and I'll take it over and do hers. So, yeah, anyway, um, uh, yeah, that's where we're at. Also, um, you know, there's an open invite if you guys want to pop in Discord and, chat with voice you don't have to use cam or anything like that um, if you don't want to we have that option um, but if you'd rather chat than type if you're like me I, I gotta give my knuckles a break every once in a while um, yeah feel free to pop into discord yes indeed she is, she is awesome like that. Oh, don't you love that? Without permission, you know? Didn't give your mic permission to uh, go AWOL, but you know, it did anyway. <laughs> I guess I needed a few more than I thought. There are none there. That's why the line quit. So this is a futile attempt. So we have to fix this at the source. And there you go. Alright, so this is also going to be a PLS priority issue, I'm sure. Um, there it is, empty. Could be a vessel issue too, because look, wow, wow. Those guys are all busy. You know what? I'll bet you that's a vessel issue. I didn't think I was, um, I didn't think I was lacking on the production of something, but I guess I am, maybe. All right, let's take this one. See what happens. 
drones, got vessels, yes, not super busy, and remote demand. Nope, there is literally nothing there. Well, there's something you don't see very often, on my builds anyway. Okay, mining planet, here we come. Wow, mining, mining system. So will it be, we should do a poll here. Will it be Epsilon 2 or all mining operations? I do see some vehicles going back and forth between Epsilon and the factory system, not many. And we're gonna go to Epsilon because it is actually closer on this side, which is why we did that. All right, so all ordinaries, then we've got um, diamond, fire ice, and optical grading. One's only got 37 veins of silicon, so that's not it. That one's only 33, so that's not it. That one's only 28. Ah. All right, most of the traffic is coming here. Let's get there and see what the what is. Um, I don't think it's power. I don't think it's power. What I think it is, this could be, this could be a straight up, I neglected to pay attention to um, smelting silicon crystals, even though there are fractal silicon veins being mined. I don't think it's in this system. Well, it's not in this system, but... Um... Almost flew right past it. What do you want to bet this planet is not solid yet? Aha, it's solid. Okay. Alright, so this one is strictly fire ice, optical grading, and timberlight. That's all that's on that one. So I bet you we're probably going to be doing the all ordinaries, all ords. Um, supply lines are, oh, George, George Collin. Oh my God. He was, he was, I was such a huge fan. I still am. I mean, he's dead and all, but he was my favorite comedian. George Carlin. God. Yes, he was. And when he came up with the seven, what is it, seven words or seven phrases you cannot say on TV or radio? <laughs> I swear to God, he will go down in, in history um, with that, with that, I, I, I would, I would assume that's on his headstone. <laughs> oh my god, he was a crack up. He 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 was the he was the reason I had to change my underwear a couple times. Good zap that I haven't checked my warper status lately. What am I up to? 17? Um Into matters just fine. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> uh, oh my God! You know, he—he's one of the ones I would love, uh, you know, to visit his grave just to see how much 
of his personality is on his grave because wow oh okay here's our silicon right no yes look at that there's our silicon right next to our kimberlite well, that's titanium the titanium nothing but titanium no come on there's got to be more than that and graphite old stuff this is stuff oh my gosh well um That should have more than three on it since it's proliferated. Those are all showing three. Oh, how stupid is that? No, it's on the outputs. So that must have been a power issue. That had to have been a power issue. What have I got for power on this planet? power issue Not even generating power anywhere where's it getting power from well let's follow the oh, we got fire ice There's the fire ice mine. I don't see any Jennies on this planet anywhere. Where the hell is he getting power from? There it is. All right, it's got distributors for blue juice. Most of them are off. All the generators are on. I mean, that's plenty of generators. I don't know, Chris, what did you say? <laughs> I didn't ignore it. Yeah, just uh, because it's the only thing on the planet, Ori. It was just the uh, graphite and titanium. Graphite, titanium, and fire ice. That was it. Yeah, I know you said it could be power, but that was for a different issue. Issue not That was for silicon ingots, not for silicon crystal. Um... Or actually, that was about the proliferation, not not the uh, ingots or the crystals. Um, but it can't. It's if this is a power issue, I can't imagine. It could have been. I mean got 24 25 megawatts to spare and that's with the miners on well that 25 megawatts could get used up when this one comes on but there's only five veins it's pulling from imagine it could have probably pushed it over a hundred imagine that could have pushed it over a hundred so I think what we'll do is we'll just add some uh, insurance and it's not a big deal it just means it uses more proliferation 
it still gets proliferated, just the sprayers uh, don't spray the full complement. So, let's do this. Let's go on to the equatorial side. Gets us up to 135 instead of 108. One more, just insurance wise. It should be about 142, 48. That should be fine. All right, now, now, back to the silicon system or silicon problem. So, all ords. That has to be where we're... If it's not here, it's over in the uh, other mining system. All mining operations. Alright, everybody, get ready. Can you say gravity sucks? Gravity sucks. Oops. Sucked too much. Yeah, so, um, as I was saying before, the, uh, the Discord is the place to go if you want to join voice. If you want to join, uh, cam and voice, we can do that as well. Um, we're all set up for that. If anybody wants to guest star or anything like that, we can do that as well. Uh, we can dual stream all kinds of neat things. Um, all we would do is include you. If you're streaming at the time, we just include you in on our stream. Uh, we have that capability. And uh, thanks to GFA, who is an uh, awesome, awesome streaming guru. Velocity separation. brain forget what I was thinking about. Velocity separation in That's right, we're not making any silicon on this planet. There's not really any. There's only 28, so this can't be it. It's got to be over on the uh, all mining operations. Hang on. Hang on. There's ingots. Oh my goodness. Well, let's take a look at this issue. That could help a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh my god. That I just had a... Yeah, when you clarified that, I just had a flashback to my high school days. Math and geometry. Actually, believe it or not, that was a, uh, a topic when I was in, um, when I took a uh, course in my senior year of high school, aeronautics. Um, aeronautics, which of course dealt with all aspects of uh, aviation and weather, believe it or not. So me meteorology was part of our aeronautics course. Um, but yeah, that was, uh, that was my precursor to, uh, joining the military. It's that aeronautics class. 
and then growing up at, you know, 10 miles away from Kennedy Sp Space Center. All right, so we are limited, and this is a problem. We are limited to a single line of output. That's why that's not handling it like it's supposed to. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Okay, so... Input is fine. As soon as I drop off these last silicon ingots, um, that you can just put there. Bet you there's not a single yellow dotted machine, and there is not. So the output line can handle it so far. So what we'll do is we'll throw down traffic monitor so that we can see when we get up to our 1800. And right now we're just over half of that. So we've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Sixteen. That's twenty. Four. Twenty-eight. Looks like I grabbed a few too many, uh, holes there. Oh yeah, I have to agree with you there. Certainly. I knew that was going to happen. Deleted the wrong one. Yeah, I agree, 100%, Ori. It's good music there. you were much closer to uh, much closer to 1800 a minute on this belt now and sure enough oh I remember Led Zeppelin so well I miss the 80s I miss the 80s
That's what your brother said to me once. Has a nice flow. <laughs> slow down now because Pink Floyd you know I saw Pink Floyd for the very first time um, at Red Rocks in Denver Colorado when I was stationed out there um, for tech school outside of Aurora That was a very cool concert. I saw Pink Floyd there, and I saw um, Guns N' Roses there as well. He grabbed too many holes. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, when I was stationed there, I filled too many. <laughs> Oh my god, ELO. Seriously, you were stationed at Lowry as well. Which that base is closed now, but that's that's where I went to tech school. It was at Lowry. That's how I was able to go to Red Rocks. What uh when were you at Lowry? I was there in 79. Actually, it was actually 80. It was um, after basic training. And um, tech school was at Lowry. So about, about March of, of 80. freaking crazy that our birthdays are in the same month, a week apart, and we both went to Lowry Tech School. Holy moly. That is crazy. That is crazy, yeah, because I was, I worked on the F-15, so I was there for the avionics. I don't even remember what the AFSC was for avionics. You got a better memory than I do. I don't, I, you know, I remember, uh, um, well, the chaparral was, was the chaparral there? Yeah, the chaparral was there at Lowry. Or no, was the chaparral was at basic training. I went on to Eglin Air Force Base in Florida straight from tech school. 15s. Um, we ended we ended up cross training out of um, manual and automatic test stations into uh, twos, our tactical electronic warfare systems, which incorporated all of the avionics, automatic and manual test stations. But because it was all grouped together, um, that included uh, the radar systems as well as uh, cryptographic communications. So, yeah, it was fun days. Jackson Hole, Wyoming, indeed. Been there a few times. Haven't climbed the Tetons, though, but I uh, was able to climb down off a few tables and chairs and stools <laughs> oh my god those were some days 
You know, it's it's funny because um, that is so weird that you were there. And I, I mean, just not even a year from when I was there. Um, ah, cool. That's interesting. Uh, when I was at Lowry um, in Aurora there, of course, we'd go to Lookout Mountain, but we also went and visited the... Um, the national park up there, the uh, Rocky Mountains National Park, the highest point uh, at 11,170 feet, something like that. I don't remember exactly what it is, but uh, um, I had sweatsuit, but instead of sweatpants, they were sweat shorts and a sweatshirt, and standing barefoot on a mountain of snow at the top of the Rocky Mountains National Park on a huge snow drift as high as you could standing on one foot uh doing the doing the arms up and the and the leg up standing on one foot and my buddies took a picture of that I had that one so um barefoot in the snow <laughs> pike's peak i've been to pike's peak yeah rode rode the uh tram or the um sky rail whatever you call it rode that up to uh pike's peak um the one on the tracks where the, the actual car is still vertical, but the track it's riding on is like 65 degrees or something like that. That was a trip. That was a trip. I rode, I rode a horse named Chester, believe it or not. I went down to the Air Force Academy down in Colorado Springs almost every single weekend and rented out the same horse and would ride out into, um, the mountains. That's actually where I met a nice uh, red-headed lieutenant from the academy, and she and I rode out quite a bit out there. Um, I don't know if I have a child by, by her, but I'm sure um, there was that possibility. <laughs> I might have it. I might have a child running around the world um, that I don't know about, or two, or ten. Damn, those were some days. Yeah, we did the, we did everything. We did, we took lots of, uh, we took trips up into Wyoming. We did the Pikes Peak, the um, National Forest. We went down to the Grand Canyon. Uh, we did all kinds of things. Um, and of course we were there for 4th of July. So Lookout Mountain was packed with people for the 4th of July fireworks. I'll never forget East Colfax. Uh, that was a big thing, <laughs> which I'm sure you know why. Um, Lake Solitude on the backside of the Grand Tetons, nice. The snowstorm. Yes, yeah. Funny how the how the weather can change like that. Okay, we are. Yeah, we're yellow dotted on a few of these. Not getting down there. Not getting down there. Are we producing ore fast enough? Yeah, we got the ore. Okay, we can fix that. Speed is an issue, so let's do this. Let's do this. See if I can do this with um, our F2. Reduce that down and try not to get. There we go. Can he do it without eliminating a... Yes. Did it. You see, I forgot that these were all, you know, four stacks. We're 
going back the other way. Oh, don't go outside of building range. Get those in. I know, right? Trip down memory lane. I'm, I'm surprised I even still remember it. <laughs> that was such a long time ago. Such a long time ago. Gosh. More so, but you know what? Um, I ha Those memories are so strong with me because it was such a great time in my military days. It was just unbelievable. And to run into you, I mean, having been there, done that, uh, you know, um, same birth month, same age. I mean, <laughs> I had not realized that before. I mean, you've been in chat before, but just, uh, just crazy, crazy coincidence. And, you know, now it stands to reason I understand why you like aviation. Um, I used to actually play uh, Microsoft Flight Sim for the longest time, but I never bought all the gear, you know, like uh, the controllers and the uh, and whatnot for that. And I never really had a good enough computer to play it anyway. But uh, I know, right? Because I, I don't even know when Lowry was dis, was uh, decommissioned and dismantled. Um, years after, I mean, probably only about 15, 10 or 15 years ago, I even went back to look, you know, Google Earth, Google Maps, went to zoom in on that to take a look and see it's gone. And, and I didn't even realize that was probably one of the bases that were axed during the, uh, uh, I don't remember what president that was, where there was a bunch of bases that were closed um, due to budget. You know, it was always a budget thing. I think it was I think it was the end of Reagan before Bush became president that they went through the uh, defense budget cuts that ended up axing uh, or they had that big base closure um, rampage going on. It keeps doing that. Why does it do that? I'm aiming right there. there oh how about that every one of them are wrong <laughs> every one of them are wrong how about that let's see if this works no nope. <laughs> How about that? Made some work for myself. Yeah, indeed. You know, funny thing is, I think, um, oh, never mind, I won't go into that. 
It was a memorable moment down in East Colfax because that's where uh, that's where all the hookers hung out. RPGs. Um. Kinda, sorta. Name some. No, I haven't played Baldur's Gate. I played Dungeons and Dragons back years ago. A true RPG. Is it? I haven't even played that. I've heard of it. I mean... I just never played it. Fifth edition already. So that must be pretty old, hey? Oh, uh, yeah, well, Ori Dark, um, yeah, I appreciate <laughs> I appreciate that. I figure uh, you could probably handle it, but, you know, after 20 years in the military, um, having obtained uh, a pretty trashy mouth myself, um, I just priding myself on trying to keep the stream family friendly um, in case you know um, Peanut might see the stream once in a while of course he's not around right now he's in school but kind of more of a personal goal um, if I can't find the right words to express an idea or something like that I just tend not to fall back on filling it with um, foul language, make up the difference. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, yes, and, and as Chris said, now that I am officially part of the KGB because, um, you know, Nemo uh, coronated me into the KGB. Oh, look at that. One lone. What was that? A lack of oh both of them ah started them both one too far out that's all right we'll add those there <laughs> Chris, that's too funny <laughs> hmm. You know, it, it's it's funny, Ori, because when I was in the military, I swear to God, you know, I heard conversations that almost literally every other word was F this, F that, you know. Um, the whole sentence structure was based on <laughs> the F word. Yeah, see, now we're up to 1800. Um... Let's see how many uh, how many yellow dots show up. I bet you we're right at. Uh, in this instance, yellow dotted machines are never going to show up. So what we need to pay attention to, honestly, is if the output loads up. If the output loads up, then we got too many smelters on the line, or the capacity of a row of inserters. But it looks like we're doing pretty okay on that. It's actually going down a little bit, so it might be a little less than 1,800 a minute when it's all said and done. Yeah, it's already slacked off by a few. And it will. Okay, so we can add a few more. But 
place the boxes with their belts. And that should keep the line saturated. Good. Let's see if um, we can actually get these facing the right way. There we go. Oh, I didn't need to do that. Huh. Click it and drag, and then it shows up. Okay, anyway. Uh, yeah, we did. We kept the clean around kids. <laughs> Indeed. My father was actually the one, my mother not so much, my father was the one, um, the disciplinarian, and uh, he didn't hesitate to take us out, you know, at the knees or find a switch or something like that, but uh, he pretty much told me, he says, um, if you haven't gained enough intelligence through school to express yourself uh, with a decent vocabulary, don't fill it up with foul language, you know. He was he was the one that turned me on to that. So he said, so you better finish fifth grade. <laughs> nah, he didn't say that, but he definitely was very hard on us to uh, to finish school, which we did, and get, you know get good grades. It's definitely 1800 now. Now we've added enough that this will probably, yep, start building a little bit. Just slightly. It's pretty close to maintaining. Pretty close. Uh, my dad had this um, really interesting way of keeping there's three of us my older brother my younger sister keeping us in line and um we had some poplar trees um pussy willows and some birch out back but um the pussy willows had they were very strong branches but thin and rubbery and he would whenever any one of us three kids got in trouble He'd make one of us go out with his pocket knife, cut off one of the small branches from the pussy willow, strip all, strip it all down, and he, he would lay into our backsides with that, all three of us. So if one of us got in trouble, all three of us got punished. And consequently, that pretty much forced us or made us look out for each other. <laughs> so it took a bit of parenting burden off of the parents my older brother being you know older and wiser um, he'd make sure that we were in line but then it was my turn make sure that if some one of one of the two one of the three of us were doing something questionable to pull us up on that right away you know um, yeah it was uh, interesting uh, parenting skills. <laughs> um. Yeah, you know what, uh, Ori? There's nothing wrong with a little bit of integrity. Nothing wrong with a little bit of integrity and self-discipline. Nothing wrong with that at all. You gain respect from having good integrity. 
All right, so this planet is not the maker of... It is not the maker of the green diamonds. So, that leaves... On the opposite side... No, on the opposite side of home... There it is. Probably not that one. No, because that's got 12 silicon on it. So it's going to be our main system, which is right here. All mining operations. And we will go there. Yeah, <laughs> boomer hour. <laughs> yes, indeed. Okay, let's see how many... How many chat how many viewers did we lose during uh, boomer hour didn't lose any thanks guys <laughs> thank you loyal fans <laughs> all of them <laughs> i know right it's like what are these old guys talking about what the hell what kind of stream is this <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, stop. Probably the problem. Or a problem. Oh no, that was an experiment. Never mind. Of course, that was not produ That's just like the other one. That's not producing so well either. Well, that's interesting. We can fix that. No wonder the blue was getting contaminated. That's one problem solved. I'll come back and increase that production later date. Just want to make sure we're not contaminating. And there is going to be diamond here somewhere, I'm sure. Green diamonds. Unless I went to the one place that I found fractal silicon and is actually smelting it from that origin. What? Wait. I started this and never finished it. This could be a problem too. No, we don't need no dang stackers. That's for dang sure. That doesn't do anything for us. Okay. I hear ya. We are up against another break already. Holy moly. That was a fast hour. Oh, thanks thanks for coming by, Ori Dark. I appreciate having you always, uh, all you guys that come along. I, uh, I stream every day, your tonight, I stream every day on a schedule, which is down in those panels down there. Um, don't forget. So we'll be back right after a three minute break. Uh, for everybody that is non-subscribed, you won't miss anything. And then we'll be back shortly after the break. Hang in there. 
See you in a bit. No worries, Ori Dark. Rest well and wake well, well rested. See you next time, mate. Okay, we're back. Uh, sorry about the delay. Uh, GFA, if you're still there, let me know real quick. Okay, so we are everybody got a hydrate and a bio break we are looking for the crystal or it says not here 
bet you I'm getting it from fractals. Silicon from stone. That's what I was doing right here. I did not make. What in the world could that be coming from? It is coming from fractal silicon. Making it fast enough. Twelve forty seven a minute. Or twelve sixty. Okay, from where? Local planet? No. Didn't think so. Home system? Partially. Not much. There it is. Both of them. Thirteen forty a minute, Theta Equili. Yep, and star entire star cluster. Alright, so Theta Equili. Plus this plus the home system. Which is three hundred and seventy. Oh, hundred and thirty. is about 3200 yeah that's about right okay so theta equi is it let's see which planet is it one no two no three no four dun 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 te4 Come on. And TE4 is probably orbiting, and it is indeed. Since that's where the fractal silicon is at, we will go ahead and use that resource. About my mouse, so sensitive, right there. past it. Thank you, I'll save. Okay. Ah, 
Ah, could be a power issue. <laughs> yeah, I reckon that's a power issue. Hey, Chris. <laughs> it's a power issue. <laughs> because... What are we doing here? Nothing came in. Quest provide. Oh, and I didn't even put any dang vessels in here. Holy moly. Um, are we going to be experiencing a power issue? Everywhere? I'm only, I'm, I am almost certain there are plenty of batteries on the battery world. I cannot imagine why. Remote demand. Got vessels. Crap. But it should still be getting them. Um, it should still get delivered. It should still get delivered. But let's see what. But you know what? That dang priority system. Yeah, we got a different issue. It's supply, which it shouldn't be. Put it down at 10%. Now, something's going on. Something's going on in the battery world. But yeah, it was, uh, well, definitely got a. See, PL, uh, two PLSs paired together. Here comes some. Two PLSs paired together. Only one of them needs to be powered. Only one of them has to have vessels. Only one of them has to have warpers. So this ILS could be completely dead. And it will still receive product. All right, let's do this. Let's do this, my all-time favorite. Let's use one of these slots. Interesting. I wonder what the issue is. I'm going to have to go back to the battery planet because something is up. That should have been getting batteries regardless. It should be getting batteries right now. 
until it's up to 2,000. to check system wide because they only come from one place and that's where we're headed to right now and if there's ever a lack or if there's ever a demand for charged full batteries and there's not enough empties to charge up there's a switch that turns on the production of the empties so that there's always a supply of empties to charge the batteries with. So there's something else going on. Get your bearings, Rocket. They're all on. Okay. Those are as expected. That is not as expected. Yeah, I see the problem is... Yep. Of course, we shouldn't have that many empties either, so... That means there's not enough ILSs. Even at 20,000, there's 40,000 battery, uh, empty batteries in the loop come back here to get charged so the only explanation for that is I have not placed down enough energy exchangers as twins to the ones that are out being used and because of that because the charge rate is the same as the discharge rate so when these are charging No, on second thought, yeah, yes, down it, Chris. No, there's not a charge rate. It's only a matter of how much power is being consumed to do the job. Hang on. What happened to our tunage? Did we just run out of tunage? Huh. No. No, 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 no. 
Not just no, but heck no. Why did that happen? All right, give me a second. We're just going to switch to a different one. I'll fix that in a minute. Um, can't really see the rate that they're being charged at. Just the consumption of power doesn't really give us a per minute. Oh, that's a problem. What happened there? Could affect the charge rate if it's not getting blue juice, which is coming from a distributor bot. What in the world happened here? Why would there not be any blue? That's odd. Imagine why that would have been gone and that port not designated, so somehow that got cleared. I think I'm using drones to deliver blue anywhere, so... This is why I don't like using other people's blueprints. This was somebody else's blueprint. So we've got... We're missing ingredients. All of them got cleared. What the? Um... That's coal. No, I got coal. Coal should have produced... green no oh, I never finished using this
Green is diamond and blue is nanotubes, I believe. Yeah. So there's no source for any of these because I never set this up. I was just looking at the blueprint. Oh, there are nanotubes on the... Let's not do that. There are nanotubes on the planet. There's no diamonds on the planet. <clears throat> that would mean it would have to be an ILS requesting diamonds, and I don't believe there's any of that. Because this is where... This is where blue is getting produced at. And not very well either. Is that the only place? Yep. So it's there or there. So Kimberlite is wrong. That's probably supposed to be diamond, not Kimberlite. Is that right? I don't believe there's any Kimberlite part of the uh, blue juice equation. <laughs> Oh yeah, an advanced recipe. Oh, that's spinning mite, not Kimberlite. Oh, alright. We're smelting Kimberlite into diamond. That's fine. Yeah. Alright. I was wondering how that was producing blue without the diamond. But it's because we're smelting the diamond right on there. Um, all of the blue are on. It's just not producing it fast enough. Because. Ah. I bet you because they're all on extra product instead of speed up. Bingo. Oh, well, and that the reason for that is because a single belt. There is no sense in speeding that up when it's already exceeded the speed of the belt. Since green is saturated, all the blue is on. Okay, so that's, uh, that's what we need to do to fix the other one. No room in that one. There is room in that one. Blam! <laughs> Blah! Okay. That'll be a stack of four output, so... That'll easily fill the one slot we need. We got uh, coal, diamond, and nanotubes. We will definitely fill that up because we've got nanotubes on the planet. That should fix this problem. The 
that on storage because I just belted it in instead of using drones. Um, let's make sure we're getting them to the right place. This one is going to need diamond, so that belt is diamond. This is a stupid layout. Sorry. I got this from he who must not be named. That's why I deleted it off of all the other planets. Because he also made the same mistake I did and has far too much, it's backwards ratios. He's got 20 machines, but he's got 40 and, you know, you only need a few yellow to make the green. You need twice as many green as yellow. Now we got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. 24 blue machines. Which only take 18, 18, 18 green machines, which only takes um, 17 yellow. Or so 19, 19 green and 17 yellow. So that's all backwards. there you go that is the blue issue and then we'll have to take a look at um boy i'd have to, i'd hate to have to do a account an audit i don't want to do an audit but you know what i forced myself because i didn't remember to paste down same number of exchangers here that I was planting on other planets and that's not all of them by a long stretch. That's probably not even half of the exchangers I've got down, which is why we've got so many empties backing up on us. All right, so that's going to have to be a rework. Um, I'm going to have to do an audit, make sure I know exactly how many energy exchangers are on, on planets. Oy vey. Uh, you put some in a storage blueprint you have. Correct, OG. Correct. So the number of uh, extra exchangers that you have need to compensate for travel time. And the problem is, I didn't keep up on matching those. Didn't keep up on matching those. So I've got more energy exchangers down discharging batteries than I have charging batteries right now. And that has caused a backlog of surplus empties coming back to get charged. And these not being able to keep up with sending the fully charged ones out to where they're needed. Um... Yeah, Chris, that could probably work for some people, but um, the way I use exchangers, which is a supposed to be a balanced loop, I failed to uh, put down and keep track of uh, how many I was placing down. Um, you should never have to have a storage of anything in your exchangers because that negates the whole definition of exchanging 
which is typically one for one. Uh, I don't know anywhere in this game that's actually set up to exchange more or a different ratio than one to one. So what I have produced for myself is a nice little task of visiting all of my planets that I have factories on that are using exchangers, taking a count, and then coming back here and making sure I have the exact same number. And then having a few extra more on top of that just to compensate for the time delay of delivery, like OG was saying. Yes, um, and that's the other solution, OG. Instead of mounting that monumental task of doing a count, um, well, wow. the whole purpose of having a battery planet was to provide batteries to places that I need it without having to rely on antimatter because this is my main source before I got to antimatter. And really the only place antimatter is getting used is right here. And one or two, uh, one or two planets that actually have artificial stars on them because if maintained well rocket rocket do you hear me if maintained properly rocket these actually work very well uh, of free energy and I don't have to keep producing antimatter in order to keep my factories powered the only thing I would ever have to worry about, and I don't even have to worry about it, is because I have this automatic switch on. So these eight assemblers will make empties if empties are needed. But in a closed loop, which is a one-to-one -one ratio, they should never be needed unless I, unless I put down too many exchangers, which is what I've done, well, actually, it should never be needed. This is this is just an emergency for some stupid reason. It should never be needed because there should be an exchanger down here for everyone out in the in the star system. And I failed to do that. It is strictly a one to one exchange. OCs, yeah. But I mean, it's free energy. I mean, I've got nine and a half gigawatts of solar power being generated. No res no extra resources are being used for this to generate 9.5 gigawatts of power. That is just to power this planet with exchangers charging up batteries, which again, once you've produced all of the battery casings, the empties to be charged up, they are merely exchanged with its twin. You never lose casings, so you never should need them. Oh, is it time already? Holy moly. Oh. Oh, no worries, Chris. Really great to have you. Have a great rest and wake well rested. And we'll see you next time. Um, I think it's my time. Exclamation point, my time. Time, time, the time command is just for me. There you go. At least that's what GFA was saying. My time?
pretty sure GFA said that was the correct command. Well, my weather is in there. Oh, time zone, time zone, exclamation time zone. Oh, uh, city, time zone city. Like time zone, yeah. Baltimore. Unable to retrieve date and time from. Oh, that's not right. Hold on. It's broken. All right, I'll let Jeeves know. I mean, I'll let uh, GFA know. Yeah, it was working a while back. So that's an a that's an API issue. Well, anyway, um, like you said, it's 1 a.m. That's the important part. It is uh, time to get vertical or time to get horizontal, rather. <laughs> so that one is your city. Well, same thing with the time zones. There you go. About the same temperatures here. How about that? So we're moving into winter and you're moving into summer. And we've met in the middle. <laughs> it's pretty cool when it works. I'll get it. I'll get GFA to take a look at the time zone API bot. Or the uh, API for the bot. Your humidity is lower than it is here, though. <laughs> Still too high for us here, for my liking, anyway. Yes, indeed. I was pretty shocked to see how the Northeast gets as much humidity at times, uh, but gets as much humidity as uh, Florida does. Yeah, which is a different kind. I mean, that's an unbearable heat because you're climatized to the, to the Northern atmosphere and the humidity is what makes cold feel colder and hot feel hotter. So when you're already climatized to cold with the humidity, when you get summertime temps plus humidity, it's suffocating up there. Yeah, plus plus the salt air breeze. How about that? You add salt to a humid atmosphere and you're going to feel temperatures even more because the salt sticks to your skin, absorbs the heat. Yeah, it's... Yeah, I feel bad for New Englanders that have to go through horrible summers you've gotten used to it i don't know i never got used to it i was born in michigan but raised in florida you know from 1974 on i sweltered in florida um i never got used to it never i can handle it but it's still irritating and yeah we won't go into that <laughs> Baltimore on. <laughs> okay, Mr. Baltimore on. <laughs> well, I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad you can handle it. That's. Uh, I just can't. Uh, my heart goes out to the people that live up there and go through, you know, unbearable winters. It's just. Uh, I can't imagine. You know, Florida's hot and humid all the time. But that's different, you know. It's not you're cli you're climatized because it's hot in winter, so it never really gets cold, and you're just always used to the heat. 
but when you live in a northern climate and you're not used to that heat i mean you can only get down to your bare skin you can't take anything more off to cool off whereas in winter you can pile on layers and layers and layers to get warm can't do that with heat yes death valley that's right death valley and 102 is kind of mild because it's not uncommon to be 110 to 115 out there yeah when i was stationed in las vegas 90 100 105 you know but that's a dry heat though you don't feel it and the dangerous part is is that you don't feel it and you can end up with heat stroke uh, and sunstroke before you before you ever realize it and you can't get to a hospital in time you're done for your toast because your body's dehydrated so quickly you don't feel it um, I actually I actually uh, was quite comfortable at 100 degrees in Las Vegas because of the lack of humidity No worries, mate. See you next time. Rest well. Unless, of course, I croak on stream, in which case you probably won't see me next time. You'll just see the game and a corpse. Corpsicle. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Right, so, oh my goodness. That is going to be so much to balance out. Is, there's got to be an easy way to know how many exchangers. There's no way to know, though. Because... Because there's not enough here. Real-time battery data is fine. Real-time power data is fine. Energy exchangers. This whole bottom area. How many exchangers are charging? How many are discharging? That would be a convenient statistic right there. I mean, if the game can keep set track of how many sales have been absorbed into a Dyson sphere and keep that data, then why can't we have data that shows how many ex exchangers are on the ground and of that, how many are charging versus how many are discharging? That would be a convenient truth. Energy exchangers are not here. Various facility. Minor. Be right back.
Oh, I am so sorry about that. Um, we got interrupted by smoke alarm, smoke detector tests and maintenance. Um, right. So the big thing. Uh, wow, what horrible timing. The big thing is we got three minute ads coming up right now. Um, so I'll hang out here until those are all done. Now, now, that's getting plenty of blue. All right, so batteries are going to be an issue. not getting enough out to where they're going to be needed to go so 
All right, do we have a quick fix? We've already added two. All the way to the end? Yes, we did. Quick fix. Here we go. First of all, this line cannot go any further than this, so that's not needed. That's not needed. that. Oh! Hot to the very edge of that damn thing. Definitely don't need to be losing. That. Actually, we don't need to do that. We can actually do this. Yep. Finicky bugger. to here for starters. It's going to put a lot of empties on a It's going to put a lot of empties on a belt. It is what it is, so got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in between ten. So nine in between is there. Keep them snugged up because, oh well, they're going to need an output. Um, with other objects. Are you kidding me? The internal. Of course. Why 
What? Oh, collide as in distance. Aha. All right, well, we'll try that again then. So if it can't go right next to it, then one line away works fine. I don't know why those are on when there's nothing feeding them. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. See how those are on momentarily? Watch this one come on and there's literally nothing charging it. There's nothing there. So let's get some energy exchangers from kind of crazy not having anywhere on the planet where we're getting energy exchangers at odd That's right, there's a hundred on. I forgot about that. There's only a hundred on standby. Okay, we'll take all of those, yes. Okay. Now, first things first. This is going to seem odd. We are going to connect that there. We are going to connect that there. This will definitely connect here. I doubt seriously we're going to saturate our output lines. Oh, 
Look how many empties were waiting to come back. Holy moly. That one's getting 2,000 more coming back. Maybe having more on standby might help. the idea of going to do an audit on that, that's for sure. Alright, this one, it looks like we've got room. As long as we're not going over a tropic line or not. That one definitely has room that we can utilize. Are these all the way out here? They look like they're keeping up just fine. They certainly are. All right, we will take off four. And add them. Like that. Take these. Snug them up. That looks good. This is our quick fix. I 
I can't believe that's going to go and doesn't show as a collide. Well, you know what? We'll just play it safe. Let's see why it's not colliding with the solar panels. That is definitely colliding with solar panels. Of course it is. And, oh, really? Lack of uh, belts, eh? And indeed, we have a lack of belts. Which are right there. Very careful, Rocket. Honestly, don't know why I have all those poles there. I certainly don't need them. I am on the wrong side. Eh. Okay, that's all right. You know what we'll do?
he's a Good turn on, yep, a whole bunch of exchangers. Thank you, auto save. on the whole lot. Yep. All right, now. These two ILS. Now have room. There we go. That should only go up to 1600. Goes eighteen hundred out to somewhere. Thousand. Hopefully, that solves the power issue for a little bit. Cannot imagine how many planets that caused an issue on. <clears throat> Hopefully not too many. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, um... That would be um, proliferator issues as well. So, this one's doing much better as well. However, I'm going to have to uh, revamp the layout of the planet, so got all this room to work with we got all this room to work with this is in the wrong spot this can likely be moved because that's just titanium ore 
and we're actually getting titanium from a different planet. Wow, factory system. That one could probably be moved because that's right in our prime real estate area. So the proliferations could probably be moved closer to the poles. And silicon, these are... These are almost pointless. Supply. Supply. Why these are storage, I don't know. Oh, because they're being belted out to here. Which, for some reason, aren't supplying where they should be going. Local supply and remote supply. That might help. But those should be on the uh, fractal silicon planets on, anyway, over on Theta Equili. So yeah, this whole planet can be uh, remapped out. Well, not the whole planet. This whole side of the planet can be remapped out. This space can be utilized. Because those are going out by drones anyway. Feed that, or that, it's to feed this one. Yeah, so this can be done differently. Uh, and honestly, this proliferation doesn't even need to be done on this planet because we've got plenty elsewhere. So we can eliminate that, we can eliminate this. We can eliminate that. We can eliminate titanium. Because this was all done in the very beginning because this is our home system. We can literally eliminate everything that doesn't have to do with energy exchangers. All right, so where is our to-do list? Our to-do list would be uh, I'll probably have to log in again. Oh, all right, so All right, the blue juice contamination, we fixed that already. So we can remove that. We don't have to do the EE audits now. Well, not so much right now. And Oh, 
There we go. And then we can also... Um, remote call blue juice battery planet and then last but not least remap EEs on battery planet and that should do it There we go. There's our to-do list. Okay. That's looking much better. 14 to 16,000 is where it normally floats at. And as you can see, they're all on. All on for a reason because their win is being used somewhere. Okay, well, um, there's a bit of excitement. So that's where we stand at the moment. Let's do a save here because, yeah, haven't done that in a little bit. Thank you very much. All right then. Um. Wow. Oh. There's a little bit of um. A little bit of excitement. So, we got our plan set up for next time, and definitely got some work in front of us. So, let's see, we've got some thanking to do to Epic Party Guy, who raided us, the party of two, thank you very much for that, and... For the raiders that came in um we also had an offline follow from uh cellcad 11. thank you very much for that follow cellcad if you happen to watching the vod um looks like obs behaved fairly well Name tags. Refuse to connect to WSS real time stream elements.com cluster something because it violates the following content security policies. Right. Okay. So shout out to clips and name tags, whatever the name tags are about. Anyway. Um, thanks everybody, uh, Chris, uh, for coming to join us and, uh, over Glock and Ori Darkwind and Rob and all those that came by to chat with us thank you very much to our moderators um firehammer and gfa undead and yeah i want to thank all the viewers here uh doesn't matter if you're here for one minute 10 minutes 10 hours very much appreciate all of our viewers that came along and enjoyed some DSP fun with us. 
and uh, we'll do this again tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be a late stream because of appointments, unfortunately. So uh, we'll be starting. <clears throat> when will we be starting? That can't be right. Maybe we'll be starting on time because the appointment looks like it's later in the afternoon, but it's usually not. I'll post it on our calendar. Check the calendar. And you can all, always check us out at uh, streamelements.com. So, um, that's the one right there oh well no that's not even right so it's pretty close <laughs> pretty close except for it's a slash not a dot so that would be it right there you get live real-time data right there you can actually start from there every time so um, let's see who we can raid because I know there was somebody else on that was playing uh, DSP. Well, I thought there was. All right, so there's actually nobody in our category. Well, there is one, but uh, let's go see one of our friends that are live. He's the S World. That was the other flight sim that I was trying to think of. Um, let's go raid YOLO. Oh, hang on. GFA is on. Yeah, we'll go we'll go raid GFA. So once again I want to thank everybody. Um, you've all been absolutely wonderful. And um, and we'll do this again tomorrow and make sure to check the schedule. Uh, for the update as to when so here here is our rating if I spell it right our rating tools that we can use as we raid head on over to our outro and um, we'll see you there thanks very much everybody we'll see you on the next on the next stream cheers all <laughs>